things that no one told me about Ethiopia before I came here. Let's get into it as we explore together here on the streets of Addis Ababa. There we go. We're exploring again. I haven't been down this side, so I'm going to take you down this side as I tell you about the things that nobody told me about Ethiopia before I, visit, before I visited this country. All right. First things first, the weather, as you can see. Now, the weather here in Addis Ababa is a bit, you know, interesting. That's the word, I think. Because Addis Ababa is the most, is the fourth most elevated city in the world, which means it's very high up. It's very high up. And I'm sure you guys know, if you do hiking and all of that stuff, mountain climbing, you know the higher you go up, the mountains the colder it gets so this city is very elevated is the most is the fourth most elevated city in the world so the weather when we talk about weather in the morning is it gets chilly it gets cold and i'm from london and i said this before but even for me it gets a bit chilly so in the morning it gets chilly during the day hello salam no how are you you okay youtube youtube <laughs> You called me. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, these guys, sometimes they'll call you, interested when they see you filming, but then when you point the camera at them, then they hide. Interesting. So yeah, like I was saying, um, the weather here, in the morning, it gets a bit chilly, man. So, um, and then during the day, as you can see, the sun comes out during the day from, you know, um, around 11, 10 in the morning until the evening. And then later on in the evening, and all through the night, it gets a bit chilly still. So, if you're coming to Ethiopia, my advice to you guys is bring some hoodies. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie right now. Yeah, it's sunny, but don't let this sun fool you. <laughs> it is still a little bit chilly here. So, that's one thing. The first thing that nobody told me about Ethiopia, the weather. It gets cold in the morning, sunny during the day, and then it gets a bit chilly in the evening and through the night. And like I spoke about this in my old, in my other video I made, hopefully it will come up before this one. These houses here, houses here in Ethiopia, they don't have no heaters. So if you're feeling a bit cold or a bit chilly, you just have to put some clothes on, put some layers on and warm up. There's no heaters in the, in the houses for you to warm up. All right, that's the first thing nobody told me about Ethiopia before I came here. So as we explore, Okay, another thing that nobody told me about Ethiopia before coming here, the people. The people are so welcoming. Most people are friendly and caring and they're very helpful as well. If you need any help, like for example, if you're, in a, if you're shopping, like me, I've been in a few situations where I was doing some shopping and like I said, most people here don't speak English. So a few people, I've heard me struggling to communicate. So, they've heard me struggling to communicate, to buy stuff. And people that do speak English here, they will literally come and help you to communicate. And you, yeah, they'll help you out. So the people here are so friendly, they're helpful. And another story I want to tell you guys is like, um, like one of the first nights when I got here, we had checked in in, in our apartment where we were staying, the Melat apartment. And it was late, it was late. We're coming from up country. We're coming from Hawassa, up country. And we went, went to this restaurant, like, we checked into our apartment and it was late, right? So, most restaurants were closed. So, I went downstairs, I crossed the street and I was looking for some food. When I got to this bar, there was a bar and there was a gentleman in there and I asked him if there was food. And he said to me, oh, there's a restaurant next door but they just closed. But this gentleman was about to sit down and eat his dinner and you're never gonna believe what he said to me he said to me but my friend if you're looking for food and you're hungry we can sit down you can share some of my food so this guy actually shared this food with me so i was amazed by that so people here in ethiopia they're very friendly and sharing they're caring sharing and caring the guy shared his food with me man so people here in ethiopia overall they're amazing of course you're gonna get some idiots once in a while but that's everywhere in the world you know but overall the people here are amazing 
and helpful. Okay, as we explore, I don't know where we are right now, but I'm taking you with me. Let's go. Now, leading into that. Alright, so. Guys, hold on, let me give you this lady some money. Okay. One minute. Okay, alright. Okay. Okay, take care. Alright. So, um, so as I was saying, um, the next thing that nobody told me as I was, you know, giving ladies some money. Another thing that nobody told me about Ethiopia, um, communication um, is a bit tricky when you're coming from, you know, uh, Western countries that speak English. Now, obviously here, they've got their own language here, or they've got different languages they speak here, but the majority of people, especially the older people, they don't really speak English. So, in most places you're gonna go to, communication is a bit difficult. So. But like I just said earlier, because some people here, well, most people here are so helpful, when you're in a situation where they hear you, you know, struggling to communicate, if somebody hears you speaking English and they speak English and they understand, they can come and help you. And I'll give you an example. So the restaurant I filmed in yesterday, um, the video will come up before this one. Um, I went there before. When I got there, the waitresses, all of the waitresses couldn't speak English. So I was trying to order some food and I knew exactly what I wanted so I was showing them pictures of the food that I wanted and when, when I was showing them pictures they were like yeah 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 they, they showed me that they were understanding what I was saying but I was telling them I'm on the side of the road so it's very busy so I was telling the waitresses I don't want no chili in my food right and we'll get on to that the chili so I was telling them I don't want no chili in my food so when I was telling them that they were like okay cool we understand but when they brought the food um, oh yeah so there was a guy who was there who could speak English so one of the girls went and got the guy to translate so the guy came over and you know I was speaking to the guy and I said to him please tell them I want this food because I had uh, a little video on my phone of the food so I said to them I said to the guy please tell them I want this type of meal but I don't want no chili in my food and the guy was okay cool so the guy explained to them in their language but still when they brought the food <laughs> it was spicy and chilly so yeah it's tricky when you come here and you're going to shops and restaurants you know with the language it's a bit tricky so my advice to you if you're coming to ethiopia try if you can you know touch up on you know on the languages they speak here yeah? you'll be all right so that's another thing they didn't tell me that i didn't know about ethiopia communication because of english barriers a lot of people here don't speak English uh, as we continue to explore okay let's double back because I think I walked far enough all right yeah man so this side is Ababa man Ethiopia okay as you can see like I just showed showed you the road, roads there real briefly Addis Ababa is very clean um, it's a very clean city as you can see the roads are very very clean they kept clean and as of um, me coming from Kampala to come to Addis Ababa you see like a, a lot of roads if you've been to Kampala you know what I'm talking about a lot of roads I'm sure it, that's it's like everywhere around the world there's some roads who've got potholes in them even in England of course like, there's some roads that've got potholes but here in Addis Ababa it's rare for you to see like a road that's got you know potholes like I've seen maybe when we went to Hawassa country yeah like some roads obviously you find one or two that have got you know potholes even there like the roads are amazing but here in central Addis Ababa it's difficult man to see a road a main road even the side roads no potholes so having said that the roads are amazing and the place is very clean as well man Addis Ababa is very clean and I think I've mentioned it in one of my other videos as well street food here is not popular so they don't sell street food the culture here in Ethiopia they like to their restaurants they dine inside so when you go to the restaurant you sit it's, it's so rare it's hard you 
it's very rare for you to see somebody on the streets walking around eating in, co in the culture here people don't eat on the streets you know you sit down you go in the restaurant you sit down and you eat it's part of the culture and it's about manners as well man so that's why i think you don't really see like a lot of rubbish on the streets which is good and it, you know it contributes to keeping the roads clean so that's another thing they didn't tell me about Addis Ababa before I came here. Roads, amazing roads. The city is very clean and no potholes in most of the roads. <laughs> As we continue to explore. All right, we're going that way. I might cross the road and go over there. I'm gonna show you this city. All right, I think I'm gonna cross and go through there. Show you another part of the city. Guys, I'm staying in this place, in this area called Gaji in Addis Ababa very amazing it's it's a nice city very clean um, loads of bars for you guys who love you know the nightlife and yeah garage so let me cross over and go over there ah see I'm used to looking right but here they, they drive on the left so the cars are coming from this way whoa we made it now the second part it's cool because there's traffic here Welcome to Addis Ababa, Time London. <laughs> okay, let's explore. All right. Another thing, another thing nobody told me about Addis Ababa before coming in. Food, amazing food, man, in Ethiopia. As you guys seen in, in some of the videos I made already, man, the food is amazing, especially the traditional food. Now, here, the noise of the traffic as we're walking on the roads so guys I, i'm sure you guys would have seen my other videos that i made here in addis ababa they've got you know restaurants international restaurants that do you know foods from abroad from italy lasagna they do sandwiches and all of that stuff but your boy your boy time london prefers traditional ethiopian food now traditional ethiopian food is amazing as you can see a lady over there as you can see a lady over there walking she's wearing the traditional ethiopian clothes that's the traditional wear for ladies let me see if i can catch up there she's over there and she's carrying a pot that, that do that do traditional coffee that lady there so i was talking about the food here in addis ababa in ethiopia overall the traditional food of ethiopia is amazing man and i'm addicted to injera now injera is the most popular food here in Ethiopia. Literally nearly everything, literally nearly everything they give you, everything they eat, injera has to be involved. Now I've showed you injera already in my other videos so you know what I'm talking about. But the food here is amazing. A few different dishes, traditional dishes. And yeah, the food is amazing. So when you come to Addis Ababa, man, if you come from abroad, don't stick to what you eat abroad. Come here, try the traditional foods here. There's so many restaurants here, a variety of dishes, try them man, amazing food. The only, com the only complaint that I'll have <laughs> is that most of the dishes they cook here, they, they're spicy, the dishes are spicy. So if you're into spicy foods, if chili is your thing, then you feel at home here in Ethiopia. But your boy is not a fan of, you know, chili. Hello, salam no, how are you, how are you? So yeah, so if, you, if chili is your thing, then you'll be at home. Hello, hello, hi, Salamno. So, if you into chili, like I was saying, you'll be cool with the rest of the foods. But me, yeah, I'm not a fan of chili. So anyway, that's what. That's another thing they didn't tell me about Ethiopia. Amazing food, but spicy. <laughs> All right, as we continue to explore, let me see if I can get in the road. Cause on the side, on the streets over here, people are you know seated having tea, and I don't want to film the people. So. Let's zoom the traffic. As you can see, your boy is walking literally in the middle of the road, but there's no traffic coming down, so I think we're safe for now. So, another thing that nobody told me about Ethiopia in general and Addis Ababa beautiful, beautiful, beautiful women. I must say, now, you guys know me who watch my videos. I'm biased, right, when it comes to women. I've always said that my motherland, Uganda, I've always said I'm biased. I've always said the most beautiful women are Ugandan. Now, I've got to say, man, 
in Ethiopia, man. Whew. Ugandans go run for their money, man. Beautiful women here in Ethiopia, man. That's another thing I didn't know about Ethiopia. Beautiful women everywhere you go. Now, me saying that, the women here, you know, they're very, most of them, man, they're very well raised. You know, they're cool people. They're cool people to talk to. They're very respectful and they're helpful as well. I'm sure you've seen some of my videos. I was uh, hanging around with uh, um, some girl called Mary. She took me to a park that you see in a video that I made. Cool peoples, man. So when you come to Ethiopia, for you guys that want to come to Ethiopia, be respectful when you come here. Don't come here and try to disrespect people here. It doesn't matter where you're from, man. Show respect when you come here to the peoples and you will get it back because overall, man, Ethiopian people are cool people, they're amazing people and they're very respectful as well. I'm gonna cross over and double back and go and walk down. So, yeah, that's another thing I didn't know. That's it. Ooh. Right, as we continue walking. Another thing I didn't know about Ethiopia, like I just said, the ladies, beautiful, beautiful women. Yeah, God bless Ethiopia. They got it going on. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna double back and go that way. As you can see, beautiful roads of Ethiopia, man. No potholes, as you can see. Beautiful, amazing roads, man. Yo, Ethiopia, your boy is proud of you. Timeline is proud of you, Ethiopia. Amazing roads, the infrastructure is, re is really good and they kept clean as well, as you can see. Uh, I'm waiting for traffic to calm down so I can cross. So, your boy is here in Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, in this area called Garaji. Garaji. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about nightlife here in Ethiopia. Okay, now let's cross. Right. Let's talk about nightlife, bars and clubs here in Ethiopia. One thing that somebody didn't tell me, or nobody told me about Ethiopia when I, before coming here. Hi. Ugh. Let's run, get out of the road. So, let's talk nightlife here in Ethiopia. Nightlife is great. Um, it kind of reminds me of you, you know, when I was in Kampala actually. People here like to party and they've got some cool bars here. There's a bar called Wakanda and there's another bar we went to yesterday called Exclusive. A club actually called Exclusive. And there's a few other bars, you know, we've been to and clubs. They're cool, they're very diverse with the music they play so you won't feel you know out of place obviously they play the traditional music here which they should of course to promote Ethiopian music and also they play Western music as well they play rap uh, they play um, dancehall music they play reggae music of course because Ethiopia here um, they, they have um, a huge influence of course due to the Emperor um, Haile Selassie um, they, ha they have like a huge um, Rastafarian um, community here where we went in Hawassa we made a video about that so here in the clubs and bars they play a lot of reggae music as well and last night actually we went to a bar and there was a reggae artist performing from Jamaica I think so their bars are cool music is diverse and yeah you won't feel out of place man they like to party the vibes are always cool interesting you know vibes and stuff but the thing that nobody told me about clubs here and bars here in Ethiopia in Addis Ababa it's tricky getting a table in a club or in a bar because look if you want a table for them to give you a table in most bars that i've been to i don't know if that's everywhere right for you to actually get a table in a bar or in a club you have to buy a, a bottle so they can't just give you a table to, for you to you know have your water or <laughs> soda you have to buy a bottle of liquor for them to give you a table and it's tricky because for me i like to smoke some shisha right so i went out last night to this bar we went to to this club we went to where the reggae artist was performing and i kept on trying to order drinks and shisha keep in mind like i told you here um the language barrier is difficult in restaurants and in clubs and bars as well man waiters and waitresses like they they don't really understand really they don't really understand english too much so ordering drinks is tricky so i kept on telling them hey i want you know i want hookah i want shisha and they kept on asking me what table are you on so i was like so when they oh they, they got somebody who's speaking who speaks english 
and they were asking me what table where is your table so i was like i don't have a table i'm just standing here with my friends can you bring me a hookah here we had space right and then they were like okay let me come back and then others will tell me oh no for you to have a you know to, to get shisha you have to get a table you have to you know buy a table you have to you have to buy a bottle of liquor so yeah another thing nobody told me about ethiopia the nightlife here for you to get tables is difficult it's challenging you need to be but you need to buy a bottle of liquor at least to get a table so yeah keep that in mind for you guys that want to come here and check out the nightlife you need to be bowling <laughs> buy a bottle at least to get a table okay oh and speaking of shisha by the way um what i didn't know another thing they didn't tell me about you know Addis Ababa in most places here shisha actually is prohibited it's banned in most of the bars but some bars i think they, they might have you know some you know licenses for them or maybe they, they just do it undercover but obviously i'm not gonna say names of the bars so in some bars they do serve shisha but in other in most places they don't so yeah another thing i didn't know about this about, about shisha in most bars is not allowed so yeah if you're a shisha lover and you're traveling down here if you have a pot bring your own pots and flavors you'll be cool if you're in your hotel room or wherever you are you can smoke yeah so shisha is prohibited actually let me see if i can buy some socks here all right let me just hey my friend how are you my friend salam no how are you how much are the socks yeah, yeah. yeah how much 30. Huh? 30 30 baht how much 300 yeah guys i'm trying to i always trying to you know support these people street vendors and you know these guys that sell things in the streets so and you know you can never have enough socks so i'm gonna buy you know some socks here so how much my friend 30 for the whole this this is 30 30 bar 30 bar oh 360 the whole thing oh, okay okay and okay let me see uh, let me see guys uh okay same same price same price yeah. i got some jordans here yeah? yeah. jordan socks okay so how much so we got some jordan socks over here three 360 360 bar 360 bar the whole thing ah uh, yeah guys as you can see man the language barrier like i was telling you so i don't know how much i should pay um this this the whole thing this uh three three sixty this the, the whole thing this how much how much this yeah the whole thing how much 360 yeah oh yeah yeah i know so how much how much money money how much how much the whole thing no no don't open don't open money money the whole thing this this i want this this i want this how much the whole thing. yeah no 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 don't open i want okay give me give me give me give me it's cool you have a bag bag okay guys we finally walked out the whole pack i think it's got uh 12 pairs in there and it's selling it for 360 baht cool cool 60 okay. uh, let me pay my guy over here. Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay. It works out. 330. Okay, okay, okay. You hold for me? Hold. You hold for me? YouTube, YouTube. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. You see me? Ah, okay. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. 
Take care. All right, guys. We got it done. We got, we got the deal done. Uh, I don't know if they overcharged me a little bit, but you know, support them. So, another thing that nobody told me about Ethiopia and Addis Ababa, man, in this country, in most places you go to, very, very weak internet. Internet is very weak, man. The, con the connection of internet is very weak. Unless you're staying at a place where the Wi-Fi is strong, like at a hotel or something. If you're just like, um, people are cast out, you know, content creators. Hello. Hi. What do you sell? What are you selling? What are you, what are you selling? Rings? What's this? What are you, is this your shop? Yes. You, you speak English? No English? Okay, all right, see you later. Yeah, guys, as you, as you can see, English is very difficult for most of the people here. So yeah, like I was saying, internet connection, man, is very bad here. And um, I'm at my hotel, as we back from my hotel right there. Hello, hello. Yes, party quarter. Hello, hello. You okay? Yeah? Yeah, good. Huh? Quarties. English. Quarties. Quarties. Okay. <laughs> Funny guy. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. What's up? What's up? What's up, bro? Oh, good, good, good. So, guys, like I was talking about, internet is very tricky. At my hotel, I'm staying at that hotel right here, Fountain Hotel. The internet is very weak, so I couldn't even upload a video for you guys. So I have to wait till I go back to London soon, then upload the videos. So that's another thing about Ethiopia that nobody told me about Ethiopia. Internet connection is very weak. Now, if you're coming here and you have a mobile phone, a smartphone, which most of you guys do, um, when you come in, get, buy, um, get a SIM card and get what I'm using, the, the network I'm using, I'm using Ifio, 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 Ifio Telecom. Look, interesting. Goats on the road. Excuse me, excuse me, mate. Okay, all right, all right. All right. He's like, no, go around. <laughs> so yeah, if you're telecom, that's what I'm using. They've got good network. And if you can, get unlimited internet. At least, you don't worry about running our internet because here, Wi-Fi is terrible, man. So, and it's not that expensive. Like I, I, said, I mentioned in my old video that I made. It's 300. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. So yeah, to get a SIM card there, it's 300 bar and they top it out for you um sim card and internet unlimited internet okay another thing that nobody told me the internet here in most places the internet is trash <laughs> all right as we continue to explore now guys before i end the video i think it's long enough i'll give you a bonus tip about ethiopia one thing that nobody told me about ethiopia now did you guys know that ethiopia has the biggest airline in Africa. Literally, the biggest airline in, in Africa. Ethiopian airline. It's the biggest airline in Africa. And overall in the world, Ethiopian airline is ranked number 26 overall in the world. Now think about that. Think about how many airlines are out here in the world. You know, you got, you know, British Airways, Qatar Airways. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. You okay? Yeah. Salam no. Okay, so you go um, Qatar Airways, you go Virgin Airlines, and all of those big airlines. Ethiopia Airlines, they're holding their own, the biggest in Africa, and number 26 overall in the world. So I'm proud of you again, Ethiopia. Keep doing your thing, man. Keep making Africa proud. And on top of that, when I was traveling from Uganda, from Kampala, I flew Ethiopian Airlines. Now that was the first time for me to fly with them. And I must say, it was a good airline. I was only flying for two hours, so I wasn't in the air for too long. But the service was good. And overall, the airline is very clean and everything. So, Ethiopia Airline, you got thumbs up from your boy. Keep doing your thing. Okay guys, so, I wanted to make this video for you guys real quick. As we get to the end of our journey, I wanted to make this video for you guys to let you know some of the things that no one told me about Ethiopia before I came here. Now, okay, go to the end of the video 
end of the road. I'm gonna double back and go back to my hotel, take my socks. Okay, those are the things that nobody told me about Ethiopia before I came in. Okay, time landing. More videos coming. I'm sitting at the Sababa for a few more days. I'm gonna make more videos for you guys before I leave. Okay.